Hey water signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your July 20th through the 22nd weekend love reading. This is for Cancer, Pis Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what you guys got going on this weekend. Spirit Needles asks just do you have a water sign in love this weekend? Some of you are hearing from somebody that you are in separation from, um, that you are waiting on. They are reaching out to you. Some of you have like a gathering you're going to, like a wedding, a, a birthday party, something of some sort where you guys will have life partners coming in. Very amazing energy. All right. One more shuffle after this. I think we're ready. Yes, sir, we are. All right, Cancer. Sorry about that. I just had a message coming in for Cancer. Um, if you are um, Cancer, Sun, or Moon dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you, um, you are being encouraged to reach out to them. Um, if you have been in separation anywhere from eight months to two years, that message just came in very strong. Um, especially if you feel you're in the twin flame soulmate, uh, journey. So, okay. That aside, starting your weekend read, <laughs> you guys are starting out the weekend, uh, there's being a call for rest. You guys need to take a break, take a breather, take a step back and um, really decide what it is that you want. What do you want out of a relationship? Where do you want to go from here? What are your your goals and what do you need from a partner to, a step, to um, accomplish those goals? Um, cause right now things just aren't working in your favor for some reason you want it so bad. You're wishing for it. You're hoping for it, but something, um, is needed attention on, and you're going to hear what this, um, is whatever it needs brought to your attention. You're going to hear it in the, when you're resting, when you're, um, you know, taking a break from the outside world and all the noise that goes with it and just listening to your inner voice. Um, some of you are dealing with uh, financial issues at this point. Um, it's calling for you to look at a look at your budget, maybe um, rearrange some numbers a little bit. Watch your spending is what I'm hearing this weekend. Emotionally, you're finding balance. Um, some of you have a twin flame coming back in this weekend, but um, you are practicing uh, self-healing. You are regaining your confidence. Your emotions are leveling out, and you're using this cancer new moon to, and the energy that comes from it to work in your benefit. Yeah, some of you are moving on from an emotional scarring place. Um, you come from a relationship that that just beat, battered, and bruised you. Not physically, but emotionally, mentally. Um, you're being able to emotionally move forward from this. To get out of your head space about the hurt and focus more on healing. Yeah. Financially, though, you're feeling unstable. You're um, you're out of balance when it comes to that. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. You do have the sun here, and it's illuminating um, a point in your life that needs work this weekend. The Wheel of Fortune is here as well with the Sun card I always see with this deck. So good fortune is turning in your favor. Ride that energy out. And there's that. Four of Wands, like I said, some of you have a Twin Flame coming back. Um, but for a lot of you, you are um, beginning a beautiful new relationship. 
built on trust, built on being able to count on each other, um, being reliable for one another, a solid foundation that's going to create a very happy family. Some of you are dealing with an air sign uh, female in your energy who uh, she may say something to you this weekend that's going to kind of cut like a knife. Um, she's coming in quick, cold, calculated, and delivering the blow. Um, for some of you, this is like a mother-in-law, a future mother-in-law. Um, for some of you, you are starting a relationship with uh, somebody who has been married before and already has children, um, and they are coming out of being single. This is being guided. This is a, a divine connection. Yeah, you have a new beginning with a fool here. So a fresh start with this person. Um, somebody that you can... Yeah, somebody that you can take a leap of faith with. Um, and this is this is going to, um, well, here, the next card. It's going to be everything you'd hope for, everything you have wished for. In the beginning of the weekend, you're starting out feeling like nothing's going your way. By the end of the weekend, you are starting a relationship with somebody who you feel in the future will give you everything that you had hoped. Um, not just financially, but everything. Um, also, this person comes from a big family. And this family also could have, um, could be very well financially, um, financially set. So don't self-sabotage this. Do not cheat yourself out of this new beginning because you feel like you don't deserve it because you do. You kind of uh, have this energy about you this weekend that um, you almost feel like it's too good to be true. It's that good, but it is true. So don't set yourself up for um, for failure before you even start because this will be successful as long as you um, come into it with the right mindset. There is a... One of you, either you water signs is what I'm picking up mostly. You're very in, um, intuitive. You know that something big is coming for you. You're just not quite sure what it is yet. And the very next card out of the deck. You know it's, it's coming in for you. And it's going to be a beautiful new beginning with emotional fulfillment. Um, yeah, you guys know it's coming. You can feel it, especially if you're in this twin flame journey. Um, yeah, most definitely, you know, uh, your twin is coming back or coming towards you. Um, but for those of you not in the twin flame journey, just looking for a, a partner or, you know, a soulmate, a, a life partner, you guys are meeting those people this week, especially if you have some kind of occasion to go to, but, um, yeah, just watch your spending. But this person is coming into your path for a reason. Um, they're not just happening. They're ha not just happening to fall into your life. This is most definitely sent here by the sun. Your angel card for the weekend is to express your feelings, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, if you haven't talked to this person in a while, go ahead and reach out to them. Because this weekend is a big, big weekend for love for you, water signs. Holy cow. Talking about twin flames, this just came out. Altar priestess, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Um, yeah, this card is all about preparing for union, reunion. Prepare yourself. Um, pray to the universe. Let them know exactly what you want, exactly what you're intending to manifest. Um, and set, set your stage, set your um, altar, your sacred space, do your sacred ritual, and um, and be prepared for this, especially a twin flame, but be prepared for this person that's guided by the universe um, to come in. I say twin flame just because out of every deck, I have one twin flame card that I know only comes out when I'm, that's what I'm talking about, and this is one of them. Um, 
So, not to mention you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Sun, the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess. I mean, everything's here. You just have to wait for the stars to align. And when the stars align in the right um, order, true love is coming in. So don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to let your person know how much you miss them, how much you want to see them, um, and how much they really mean to you. And make sure you let the universe know as well because they're coming in very, very soon, if not by the end of the weekend, by the beginning of the week. So Water Signs, I hope you enjoyed your weekend read. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to my channel, watching my videos. Um, for those of you who keep returning, um, for those of you who are new, go ahead and hit subscribe and, um, and come back and watch my other videos. Thank you guys for making my spiritual journey what it is. I could not do it without you. So um, I just wanted you to know how much I appreciate you. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend filled with love and light. God bless.